Welcome back. It's been one year since Irma swept across South Florida and parts of the Caribbean, leaving a trail of destruction in the storm's path. Some of the hardest hit areas, as you know, are still struggling to recover. And while Miami Dade and Broward are spared of Irma's greatest wrath, scenes like this that were happening in Brickell last year, you may recall, under feet of water, are incredibly hard to forget. But our thoughts are always with the ones who lost everything in Irma's wrath. Local 10's Janine Samuel is live now in Marathon at a hospital that can now help people once again. Janine. Calvin Laurie, this is Fisherman's Hospital in Marathon, so critical to the Middle Keys. I want to show you, if you look at it from the outside, it looks okay, but what you can't see is the water intrusion and the mold that made this place unsafe. So today, we got a tour of its new temporary facility right here that doctors say is saving lives. Hurricane Irma left a mess in the middle and lower keys and destroyed the 1959 built Fisherman's Hospital, a lifeline here. It had some issues when we first came and Baptist took over the hospital, but it was not prepared to receive hurricane force winds. Water intrusion and mold made the hospital unsafe. Doctors and nurses were using tents and trailers days and weeks after the storm. When we were in the tents, that was incredibly challenging. But in July, this new temporary hospital was erected in part thanks to private donations. So this is the inside of one of four temporary buildings at Fisherman's Hospital. You can see these are some of the outpatient beds. It's not quite open yet. But other areas are, like this fully functioning CAT scan room. This is critical for stroke patients. Emergency care and other outpatient services. Senator Marco Rubio and Congressman Carlos Corbello have visited over the last year and say this is an example of Florida Keys resilience. Many of the people who work here live here, so they themselves suffered great damage and, and, uh, and many showed up to work the following morning prepared to provide services. There isn't a lot of room. Uh, they're trying to expand as quickly as possible because this temporary facility will be here for two years. The closest hospitals are either direction north or south are about an hour, hour and a half, and that's if there's no traffic. So without our facility being here, we would lose people, and we have literally saved lives. So this temporary facility will be up and running for the next two years until a permanent structure is built. Coming up at Local 10 News at 5 o'clock, we talked to a business, a fisheries, that we visited about a year ago, days after Hurricane Irma, to see how this year has been for them. Calvin Laurie, some businesses say it's been a struggle, but most say they're able to get through it. It's that, it's that key spirit. Oh, it's <laughs>